Alright guys, so here goes the beginning of my first attempt at a build series. Uh, this will be a lot like Jang from Ultimate RC's build series videos, just because he does a really good job with them. I'm a fan, and I figured I gotta start somewhere. And right now, I'm just uh, getting everything out of the master bag of bag A. Um, so, here I go. I'm going to get this all sorted out and take a look in the manual and see where we got to go. So, I'm just uh, finishing up. I did the first step off camera. I'm measuring it up. Uh, that's good. I put together the uh, steering link that's going to go from the servo horn to the um, steering rack. So my next step is to get my servo. Here we go, uh, finishing up the steering mounting, or the servo mount. Um, I'm just doing some of this, like, off camera, just, I think that's, like, dark, like, you guys can't see a servo and stuff, because of where I have the light, um, I'll try to, uh, move the light around, but for this first set of videos, I'm gonna do, like, the whole front end, probably, tonight, and then see what I got left and then do like the back end tomorrow and the transmission but okay so there's the steering assembly now the next thing we're gonna do is get this beautiful chassis aluminum and before we do that I'm just gonna go ahead before we do anything and I'm going to lay these on here Okay, and uh, just like that, I line them up. All right, finishing putting on the side plate. Just got a few more turns left, and there it goes. Next, what I have to do is mount my servo. That goes in with the servo horn facing the right side of the car, if you were looking at it from the back end. So, I already had this in once. Of course it's not on camera for you guys. I did film me, but I think I'm going to put together a bunch of bloopers at the end of this video because, or like after all the build parts are up, because that was a funny thing. I was wondering why the servo wasn't, it had a gap between the chassis and the, servo mounts so I was like uh and then it just so happens to be that I had to put in the side plates because now these screws go through the side plates and into the servo and yes I think you guys have seen in a few different shots that I have my impact I have my impact but uh I'm choosing one and one not to use it because I really don't want to strip out any screws, and these screws are, like, really easy to round. So, uh, I'm just using my screwdriver to get them started, because creating the threads in TLR's plastic is really hard after building one with my dad. I have experience. So, here comes the drill, or the impact.
here's just a little quick note for you guys when uh if you guys are ever building this kit uh as i was looking at the manual to prepare for the next few steps these two holes right here you would normally put in the body mount but i'm going to run velcro along here to mount my body so that's just a quick little side note for you guys here's what we need for the steering rack build uh, everything laid out here and notice this one this one uh, your ball stud is different from these two so carefully look at these they're not all the same but they are very close so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna slide this stuff back up here so we can okay so with this here you're gonna take these guys here they're silver with some threads in them you slide them right into the rack like that and that's it they're all the way in I thought that they were they're supposed to be flush but I guess not and then you're going to with your other part of your steering rack okay with the other part of your steering rack you're going to take the two that you have the same of and you're going to screw them into the slots that have these little bumps on them. So I'm going to attempt to. And now with the magic of time lapse, we are done. So with now with that, you have this one final hole. What you do is, oh, I only need one of these. Sorry about that, guys. I grabbed the wrong one. You need this little guy, I believe. Let me just double check here. Yeah. So this one, it's a little nut that goes right in here. And then what you do is, let me grab my other wrench. You take your smaller ball stud. You push down on the nut so it can't come out. And screw it in. And there it is. Now you have all your hardware together. Okay, so here's everything we're going to need for step A7. Your steering rack put together. Your... Uh, front shock where the shock tower is going to go on not sure what you would call this and then this little screw here is for your body mount which is right there so I'm not running body mounts like I said I'm going to use velcro so I'm, I don't need that but that's what you would need with that little guy so I'm just going to set them aside so now you have your two screws here and how this is going to work is you're going to take this here you're going to run your screws if I can get my screw and my screwdriver go through the hole and is there any specific way I need to mount this Yes, there is. If that's like that, that's exactly how the manual shows. And then this goes on here like this. So, those things, those little silver things need to be pushed down all the way. So that they don't spin when you are putting in your... In these screws but what you can do is you don't have to bust up your fingers because uh, as long as they're not going to spin you can let the screw push the uh, silver piece all the way down just like I just did
Now on to the next step of adding ball studs to the outer holes. These ball studs will you have to use a two millimeter washer. I am putting on the front bulkhead to the car itself. Onto the chassis, I mean. Now I'm going to hand tighten these because I am going into aluminum. Probably should have lock tightened these, but it didn't, it didn't call for the lock tight. But so there we are for that step. And now to connect the rest of this piece. We have to run these screws through the top here down into the servo mounts. So to speed up this process, I'm going to use a drill. I do have my impact set at a very low torque so that I don't over tighten these screws or strip them out this magnetic bit though is a pain because it hit it sticks in there when I'm trying to pull it out so this part of the build uh, is where I'm only going to be showing one side So here I'm putting the ball stud in the steering spindle. And then next what I do is we are going to add our bearings. That one went in there nice. Let's add the bearings. That one went in there good as well. And then here's your hex. It's kind of cool how this works. You slide the long end through your bearings just like that. And then on this side, we use this really little screw to capture the hex. And what's nice, what low C does is, oh, I have to cut a hole in this. They um, include some low C lock, which is thread lock with the low C name on it. Just add a little bit. And then put it on your little screw. Hold the hex. And screw it in. So after I realized that I experienced some camera malfunctions and didn't record building the spindles and I just talked to myself. Um, I'm finishing this up here by putting in the ball stud. And then I'm going to show you adding it to the arm. Okay, so here's your spindle. Here's the arm. And here's the car. So what I got to do here is flip it around the right way and get the same screws as you use with the spindles with not full thread on them but half thread slide it in the back side and I'm putting the space you get to choose where you want that little spacer and I put it back here for a longer wheelbase and then you just gotta slide line it all up Thread in your screw.
and then get your other half threaded screw push push that in and any second now Ta-da. Just make sure you got some movement. We're good there. So now we're going to add this to the car. I've already added the aluminum plate here and done the other side. So now what you do is you slide the A-arm on and grab your pin. Slide the pin right through. Get it to line up. Goes through. And then you grab your little set screw. It's a 1.5 millimeter hex, and there's a little hole right there that you, as I roll a screwdriver across the table, you use that to hold in the uh, pin there. So you just tighten that down. like that and we're almost done with the front end All we got left for the bag A, so the front end, is uh, the front shock tower and the front bumper, so might as well get her done. Now we're going to uh, put on the suspension fellers. Uh, they just slide in like. Oh, just kidding. You have to thread them. Yeah, they do slide in. Let me grab my little wrench here that TLR includes. Nice of them. And then all you do is tighten down the nut from the back.